See you in a minute, YouTube. Hello YouTube, LJ Draco here. Yes, this is the part of the video that was supposed to be up yesterday, but I only got around to recording it last night and I'm uploading it a bit later today. This is the continuation of the Batman Ultimate Edition 3D Blu-ray review. Um, now basically, as everyone already knows, the Ultimate Edition is only on the standard Blu-ray. There is no Ultimate Edition for 3D. But I'm just going to show up a bunch of pictures of how many different versions of this film already came out. Right, and you're going to see a bunch of different clips and pictures mm, now. I know, right? Loads! Anyway, I, I thought I'd, <laughs> I bought this the same day I bought this on Monday. It's a, the Gotham Guardian, Batman, Superman, The Last Son of Krypton. It's quite a nice t-shirt, I quite like it. <laughs> but I thought I'd get it to, to wear to this, for this review. Um... But anyway, yeah, so this is about this movie, which I'm going to stop holding the Blu-ray and put a picture up of that film about here. There we go. Uh, basically, so yeah, I'm not going to talk a lot about the Ultimate Edition of the movie because there's already been a lot of talks about the Ultimate Edition. I'm just going to give you the rating of the Ultimate Edition compared to the actual film, and then I'm going to go talking about the actual film. The Ultimate Edition of the movie for me, yeah, there was like 30-odd minutes of extra footage. And people say that made the film better because most of it was about Clark Kent investigating, introduction to it to a new kind of person in the film. And for me, the Ultimate Edition, it didn't make me feel that much more interested in in the in the film than than the original film did. I still kind of feel the same. I just feel like, oh wow, well, Clark's investigating. That's kind of what he's supposed to do. Um, I didn't really feel that much different about it but it, i guess for other people who who wanted to see clark be clark instead of clark being superman dressed as clark then yeah that's that's great um but in, in my opinion the only bit of extra footage that made the film a bit more interesting for me was obviously uh lex talking to dark side uh that bit's cool there's gonna be a picture here of that and the mother boxes and stuff like that. Is it, you know, so obviously that's really interesting because we get to see in the dream sequence, which there'll be a picture here of the dream sequence where you get to see the Omega symbol and you get to see uh, a couple of Darkseid's minions in his dream sequence where he's in the desert. So to see Lex actually talking to Darkseid was pretty cool. Uh, I guess that, that, that kind of links up for the future films. Um, but I, yeah, so other than that specific extra bit of footage, the film was the same to me. And as you saw about my, my previous video, I, I did like quite a few things about the film, but I also had a lot of hatred, and there was something about what I hated about that film that I missed out of the last review. Uh, so I'll get over that, and then I'll explain something different. The extra thing that I hated about Batman v Superman was Doomsday. I didn't really get to mention this in the, in the last review, that they messed up Doomsday so bad, the fact that they used Zod's body to make Doomsday bullshit. The fact that he grew his his bones, even though the bones weren't as big and bulky as they were supposed to be. Bullshit. I'm sorry, anyone who thinks that that Doomsday might have been reasonably well or okay, you're lying. That Doomsday did not look like Doomsday. He looked like a ripoff of the Abomination from The Incredible Hulk starring Ed, Edward Norton, right? No, no, that was not Doomsday. That was shit. But, in, in fairness... Batman v Superman, I watched it in 3D. I mean, as you, as you got to see the little clip, me putting it in and stuff. I've watched it in 3D, and I, I prefer to watch this film in 3D than I would in 2D. That kind of made the film more interesting for me. I thought the 3D was going to be shit, and the 3D was actually really, really, really good. So, do I like Batman v Superman more than I did in the previous review? Yes. Is it because of the Ultimate Edition? No. It's because the 3D gave that film a bit more than what the film should have given itself. Now, people say, oh, the whole problem watching 3D films is you know you try and look for the 3D. No, that's what certain people think that you do. I don't go looking for the 3D in films. I just notice it when it comes along. I appreciate the film for itself. I, see, I don't look for the 3D. I think that I'm actually there behind the camera watching it being filmed. Now, that's how I see it. 
So when something comes towards my face, I picture the people actually being there running at me. And if I notice that in a movie, that makes me enjoy it so much more. So the 3D is the best way for me to enjoy this film. And I, I can't watch it any other way. I tried, when I watched the Ultimate Edition, I just, I felt like I was just watching it like I did the first time and it wasn't really exciting and it was like kind of dull. But I watched the Ultimate Edition straight after watching the 3D. So watching the 3D going, wow, this film looks so much better to then watching it, oh, well, it look, now it just looks dull again. So yes, I prefer the 3D edition. This film is one of those that I will definitely watch more in 3D than I'd ever watch in 2D. I've got quite a few films like that. Um, yeah, there's going to be like a little cut here for a second after after this bit because I'm going to tell you about this other thing that I'm doing called Shelf or Wealth. Now, the whole point of this segment of my videos from now on when I buy 3D Blu-rays is because everyone knows buying a 3D Blu-ray is a 50-50 chance. Now, with every other kind of movie or film, no matter which one you buy on Blu-ray or DVD, the quality is going to be decent anyway. It's always going to be good picture, good sound, blah, 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 no matter what you do. With 3D Blu-rays, as, as a 3D collector, everyone will know when, when you buy a 3D it's always a 50-50 chance. It's going to either be really shit or really good. There is no medium part. I mean, I mean, the only medium I could ever find was Age of Ultron, where it was, it was kind of good 3D, but you know, you, you didn't notice it as much. But like that, that is, it's, if, if you can still notice the 3D, it's still good. If it's unnoticeable completely, like Prometheus or Harry Potter's, then that's when I get annoyed. But I'm going to cut the video to this bit here and show you two examples. I forgot to take the films off the shelf I was going to show. So I had to kind of cut it to get the, the shelf. Right. Anyway, these are two films I previously bought on 3D Blu-ray. And the 3D was not noticeable and they were absolutely shit, but I enjoyed the film. And I still wanted to own the film, so I sold my 3D releases. And when the standard Blu rays got cheaper, I bought them. Right? People hate this film, but I quite liked it. One is Pixels. Pixels was amazing for me. I, it, okay, first, Adam Sandler's comedy has started to kind of die down, but due to the nostalgia comedy he used to give us, I still give the guy a chance. And I still enjoyed this film. So, in a way, but the 3D was so bad, I, I really regretted it. I spent £18 on buying that on 3D, and I hated it. I was so angry. I sold the, the £18 ones for, uh, I think I sold it for like 7 or £8, pounds, and then this was £8, so I thought I'd just pick this up on standard Blu-ray. And people say, you might as well have kept the 3D if it comes with a Blu-ray anyway. No, I do not want 3D films on my shelf if they are going to be bad. I am a collector, but I'm a collector of films that I want. And if it's not good 3d then there is no point of being on the shelf that is the way it works for me and the second example is the lego movie the lego movie is such a fantastic movie but the 3d was not noticeable at all there was no 3d in this movie it was like watching a 2d movie with glasses on or sunglasses on actually because because the film was darker with the glasses on if there's no 3d the film looks darker so i was not really happy with this at all i was so disappointed in this uh like the 3d but then i bought the blu-ray and i love the film more than i tried watching it on blu-ray and that's why i own them now so in this part of the video the video is going to be about whether this is shelf or wealth and as you've already heard i love the 3d to this movie and this is the only reason why i'll ever watch this movie again is because of the 3d so this is going to be on the shelf and I'm so glad it's going to be on the shelf because it, it, I was hoping so much when I watched the movie, the, the 3D release, I was hoping so much that the 3D was going to be great. And I was dreading putting it in because of how much they cost when they come out. I was like, please don't let me down. Please don't let me down. And it didn't. It was great. And I'm so happy. Downside, it's that widescreen kind of 3D. So you get the black bar on top and bottom. I don't like those 3Ds. I like the 3D that takes over the whole screen purely because you get to enjoy so much more of the film. But, you know, I can't complain. If the 3D's great, it doesn't matter how, how great it is. If it, if it makes it noticeable for me, it makes the film look 10 times better than what the original did, I'm still going to be okay with it. So this is on the shelf. All right, my next actual 3D release that I want to pick up is actually going to be on the 5th of September, which is going to be Civil War, which I'm... Oh, I'm so... Yet again, I didn't get to do my Civil War review, but I've got a lot of complaints about that one as well. Did enjoy it, but it 
did let me down a bit. But that is going to be hopefully my, my biggest next 3D release. And I'm going to be prepared for that video as well. Um, I've also got a t-shirt prepared for that one too. Yeah. So anyway, this is just going to be it. I wasn't going to talk much about the Ultimate Edition because uh, there's been a lot of reviews about that. But I'm going to give this film... Basically, I never got to rate my, my last review about it. Uh, because I didn't want to do the whole rating system. But I thought it might be a bit fun. Uh, previously, I gave the original film a C- because of how bad... The, the, the acting towards the fight scene was and all that now the rating ain't going to go that much higher because the film is still kind of bad but the 3d didn't prove it so i'm going to make it just a b i'm going to give it a b okay i think a b is reasonably like well it's reasonable for the film but it only gets upgraded to a b because the 3d made the film a bit more watchable but thank you youtube anyway this video is taking me so long to actually get down to recording it and uh, it's going to be uploaded today. And thank you for the people who've been watching my previous video, my pickup video from Monday. Thank you for watching that and showing your support. Plus, um, I don't know if the person who commented on my Beauty and the Beast video is watching this. And I've already replied to your comment. I, I, I have taken all the things you said into consideration. I'm now standing in front of a window. I've now got a lamp to the side of me. I don't own any white shirts, but I am hopefully might get some in the future. I'm planning to lose some weight as well. I've got a whole diet thing system going, so I might start looking better in shirts. But anyway, thank you guys anyway for the for subscribers that I have got and the viewers that have been watching my videos. Thank you so much. I've got a bunch of other videos coming up soon. I do have a gaming channel, but that one is nowhere near successful uh, as much as this one is. And as like I said, I'm not greedy. I'm grateful for the amount of subscribers I've got and for the amount of views my video gets. And I'm grateful for whoever watches any video that I do. So, but yeah, as I'm saying, I'm dragging this video out even longer. Thank you guys so, so much for doing this. Now, if you do like this video and like my previous videos, please subscribe and don't forget to strike the like. And this is the end. Goodbye, YouTube, and I'll see you later.